what's good you guys so if you're new make sure you hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to join the family yeah this is just like a i'm quarantined let me update y'all on my life and what's really been going on out here in these uh rona streets y'all because things have changed things that y'all didn't even know were happening like they've changed that's crazy right like y'all didn't even know and i'm about to tell y'all some things that y'all didn't even know that were gonna happen and you know it's just it kind of just it's amazing right so first of all your girl cut her hair yeah i think i did a good job yes i did it no no one else did it like i cut a pretty good portion y'all it was already like cut off it had already reached like right here like that's how long that's how long my hair got and it was getting on my last nerves like it really was like it was annoying super annoying it was in my face all the time and i would put it up like in one of those big buns and it would always fall out and it was just like a mess like we caught in the window so yeah your girl took some shears y'all know my sister is a barber cosmetologist she's into that industry in that field she's licensed by the way and so she used to live with me she left some shears here y'all and your girl was like you know what? i've seen her do this five thousand times i think i can do it because i really really want to cut it I, i'm pretty pretty sure i can do this i've seen her do it like five thousand times so like why i can't do it i can do it so your girl go went ahead and did it i did it i even was able to yeah your girl your girl did it so that's just let's just start there i've been wanting like i actually want it shorter I actually left, left a lot of length because people haven't even been noticing. Like, clearly I ain't been nowhere. But FaceTiming people, like, when I post, like, no one's really, like, noticed. Because my hair is always long. Like, it's just long, period. Like, that's just for starters. So, that's for starters. So, moving on. So, I, I know, like, a lot of y'all, my life has completely to kind of like a pause button like god really just wants everybody to sit still and i'm kind of here for it i'm not gonna lie like i really am kind of here for it because it just gives you so much time to just sit and think and process and just like be in love with the now you know like everything ain't just so just go 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 goes <laughs> god was like oh I'm going to settle y'all. Y'all need to chill out. Like real talk. Y'all need to chill out. So I'm actually really here for it. I really love it. I love, you know, not necessarily being locked up in the house all day, which I'm an introvert. So I'm like always in the house anyway. So this is not like a huge adjustment. It's just now all of my classes have moved online and yeah that's that's kind of an adjustment i'm i am used to leaving my house going to the gym can't do none of that really like everything is home-based for real even the job i was supposed to start got put on pause like pause um yeah everything just got put on pause uh so y'all y'all seen the video of me and bailey going to florida before all of this happened and so here's the real tea on that yeah we stayed out there for a whole week literally literally from wednesday march 11th to we didn't touch down back in austin until march 18th yeah, it was March March 18th when the plane actually landed in Austin, Texas. So we were out there seven days. The longest seven days of my life. Let me be completely honest. And let me start by saying, um, the whole point of the trip originally was to find a place to live. Yes, me and Bailey were going to move to Florida 
we were gonna start completely over like in my mind it was like why why not like why not like she's not at school you know she's not really school age i'm single as a dollar bill like why not move we have family like my parents live in florida um but we were gonna move to jacksonville where my parents like live we were gonna live in orlando because jacksonville is just very like Jacksonville is, um, it's that. That's what it is. It's that. And that's all I'm going to say right there. I'm not here for it. I'm going to say that much. I am not here for it. I'm just not. I, I just could never. Never. And, you know, I had a rental car. So, we were all over Jacksonville. And I'm not here for it. I'm just not, um, <laughs> y'all, people are, like, really rude out there. It's just a whole nother vibe. Florida is a whole nother vibe. I was feeling the beach. I was definitely feeling the beach. It was cool, um, especially, you know, just being in the swimsuit. I haven't been on a beach. Well, I went to the beach, you know, three years ago. Was it 2017? That was three years ago? Yeah, three years ago. Um, but I, we didn't actually get in the water, but I hadn't really been in the water since like a kid. So anyway, yeah, all that was cool. But Jacksonville, y'all, people are so, I don't want to say rude. I don't want to say they're rude because of the simple fact that it's just a different vibe out there. Like I'm from Texas and no matter really what part of Texas you're in, people are just really like, hey, how you doing? You know, just like, that's just, they're friendly. People in Texas are friendly. And they just um, have hospitality. And it's just real different out here um, compared to when I went to Florida. I was like, do I just have be rude to her written across my face? Like, it's... It, do I just, is this somewhere on my face where I'm like, you work here? And it wasn't like people, it was people at, that worked at establishments, y'all, who were being rude to me. And I was just like, you get paid to do this. You don't like it. Why are you here? It's like, like, that's just how I feel because we get to choose our jobs. It's not like it's. Oh, you have to work here. There's nothing on our birth certificate that says, oh, you have to work at such and such, on such and such, until such and such. That don't exist. So we pick our jobs. So I feel like we shouldn't be rude to people who come into the establishment. So on multiple occasions, on different days, throughout the seven days I was there, I had that encounter with all these different type of people. And they were just so rude. And I was just like, why is everybody so mean out here? In Florida, what I know it's hot, which it, that's a different type of hot, baby. That is a different type of hot, period. <laughs> it's a different type of hot, so yeah, it was just blowing my mind. I was, yeah, I just I couldn't do it, I couldn't deal with like how rude people are out there, and yeah, it was something, it was definitely something. So, yeah, me and Bailey were supposed to move out there. We were supposed to move to Orlando. Um, and I was going to look for a place out there. So, that's why we were originally set for seven days. Just to give me time to be like, okay, I kind of want to live over here. kind of want to live over there. Yeah, I had apartments lined up and everything. And um, not right before, but like by my birthday... I was like, we're not moving to Florida. Like, we're just not. What changed my mind wasn't the fact that, cause remember, like I hadn't been there yet. Like my birthday's February 15th. We went March 11th. What stopped me was just like, I really sat down and really had been praying about it. Like really praying about it. And I was like, this ain't it. This ain't it. Like, I don't know what we're going to do, but this ain't it. Like, Florida, that, 
it ain't it period so yeah i still went out there um, and I was like, okay, well, we're just going to see what the vibe is like. We're going to see what the vibe is like. Like, even though I've already pretty much got confirmation, like, not as ain't it kind of situation. But I was like, we're just going to see. It doesn't hurt to just go see about things, okay? It would not okay? So, I didn't go. I didn't, I didn't end up going to Orlando, which maybe the people in Orlando are maybe they're nicer. I don't know um all i know was it was a no for me a huge no for me like it just no so we're staying in texas um i don't know if like we're staying in texas forever or just for right now i love texas like i came to that realization when i got back from florida that i absolutely love texas like everything about texas i love it it is its own country it is but i love it so i don't really plan on leaving i can just be honest with you guys um but probably a different city for sure i've been in austin 10 years no it's been longer than that no it's been 10 years yeah i've been in austin 10 years now guys so i don't know maybe another city is in our future maybe it's not things change you know things change people grow but currently y'all y'all already know i'm in school i'm in college and right now it just kind of makes sense for us to stay here where i kind of got things figured out for the most part with you know school and bailey right now everything's on pause so it ain't that figured out but it's figured out if you know what i mean so, yeah, it's, yeah, we're staying here in Austin. Um, I know I said I really wanted to move out this apartment. So that ain't gonna happen either. After, like, really sitting down and thinking about it, um, rent is going up, like, crazy. And I'm just like, I have a really good price on my apartment right now. Like, a really good price, y'all. And it just doesn't really make sense for me to leave, considering the fact that I do not work at 95 right now. I am a full-time college student, and I pay all my bills by myself. By myself, yeah. Like, single-handedly by myself. Contrary to belief, and this kind of, like, blows my mind that people assume because you are a single mom and you have a child that you're just automatically on government assistance like no sis i wish my rent was 20 dollars. like i've never applied for it you know that but i wish no i'm not on any government assistance i pay and buy all my stuff with my money that i get okay so and it's tough out here because people like just automatically assume you're on government assistance that you get all this crazy amount of child support that you're living off child support baby i ain't seen child support and i don't know how long let's let's start there let's just start there so uh and it's nothing i would ever like configure into my budget because it's just like one of those surprise things they make it may randomly pop up one day and that's that's it it's not something that's reliable so but anyway, this is, was not meant to be a rant. It was just like an update on where I'm at in life, you guys. Um, also, I did do want to start dating. I have put that out there that I'm not opposed to dating. You know, it's just like, how are you going to meet somebody in you and you else? Like... <laughs> Yeah, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no dating, sis. Not right now. Not to, not to the quarantine is over. And only God truly knows when that is going to be over. Like I said, I'm really kind of enjoying it. Because some folks are in the house with people they generally don't even like. Like, people they live with, people they are with. Like, this quarantine is definitely going to try everybody. It's trying everybody right now. And I think it's good, like, relationships that we're not supposed to linger on for so long 
are finally going to be over. Um, people are going to be able to sit back and reflect like, okay, this is what I was giving all my time and energy to. And it's on lockdown. So what should I be prioritizing my time to? What should I be focusing? A lot of people got laid off. And I was just very fortunate that I wasn't working to begin with. Like, I wasn't working on 9 to 5 to begin with. I was doing a little side hustle stuff, you know. Uh, school money, paying the bills that way. And focusing on being a mom and being a student. Where I didn't have time to work a 9 to 5 job. So, I was very fortunate on how my situation was already. Like, I wasn't really affected, to say the least. Um, me having that job, it was a temp job that clearly has been put on pause and it wasn't because I needed to pay my rent, my rent's paid. Like, trust me, when you get out here, and I think like a lot of people are saying that, like once you get out here and you really have to trust God for things, you really have to trust him and listen to him and be obedient because baby, that's how the bills get paid. Okay, that's how they get paid, all of them. Be obedient, listen, okay? Once you get really out here, you have to be like, hey, I might wanna like chill out. I might, I probably don't need that. I'm sorry if y'all can hear the rain. It's been raining all day, it stopped, and now it's like back. So just bear with your girl. It's crazy on the amount of growth I've just seen within my lifetime of being out on my own being a single mom like i never thought i would be or feel this grounded at all ever and i've actually had multiple people actually ask me like how do you get through things it's only god like jesus is how i get through things period there's no other way there's no other source like he healed my broken heart from relationships and i'm trusting and believing in so many things because you know he's gotten me through so many things so it's like i already trust him and believe in him when he's seen me through so many different things in my life when i wasn't living all the way right when i wasn't you know doing what i was supposed to be doing he was still there and he saw me through all of that so um I would definitely say stay faithful. I've stayed faithful and I've seen the fruits from it. There's always a harvest at the end of the season. Y'all, this is supposed to be a, a, <laughs> a update about my life and I'm out here, but that's per usual. But anyway, so I do want to say like stay faithful. Like even though you're quarantined, you're locked up in the house and it sucks. Still stay faithful to god jesus christ our lord and savior because the season will end y'all we this quarantine thing it will not be forever believe trust and believe your girl it's not forever but the seed you plant will you will you know have a harvest there's going to be a harvest after all this is said and done so whatever you planted during this time is going to grow so just be careful what you're planting right now are you planting good seeds that you'll see you know the prosper uh it all prosper you know six seven eight months from now or are you just planning bs like are you adamantly trying to get closer to god right now are you adamantly working out are you adamantly reading are you trying to bang gang knowledge a side hustle you know um are you being intentional with this pause that god has placed on the world because like that's kind of what this is right now are you being intentional with the time he's giving you or are you just bsing watching netflix and hulu and disney plus all day like those are things we have to think about and consider and this fruit will definitely blossom like I said, I'm trusting and believing God in so many things right now. But that part I can't get into. But what I will say, life is really amazing. My life is so good. I never thought I'd see the day where I would be like chopping it up with my ex-mother-in-law for a whole hour just talking, y'all. Talking about my dating life and what I'm doing. Like, I just never thought I would see the day because... I mean, that's what happened the other day. We literally were just talking. It was just, just 
you know, like, good. Like, I'm glad I do have those genuine relationships with Bailey's grandmother. And, you know, there ain't no hostility. There ain't nothing like that. Like, we're divorced. Me and, and my ex-husband are divorced. But, you know, I still consider everybody over there family because that's Bailey's family. And I don't want no... I don't want no... I don't want no smoke, bro. Like, it's all love. It's all love, okay? So yeah, I'm really just happy, y'all. I'm really happy. And this might be like, girl, what did you update us on? First of all, I ain't moving. I ain't going nowhere. I'm still in college. I'm still single right now. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that y'all got something good out of this life update. Um, I really just want to say be faithful and, you know, stay down. Like, stay down because God got this. He got the whole world in his hands. And not for really a moment. I, we're fine, y'all. Be blessed.